Hey guys, what's up? I've got another video tutorial for you guys today. And as you can tell by the cowl that I'm wearing, it's over the Batman cowl. All fabric except for the heart shell underneath, which is just a cheap plastic mask. And the ears are EVA foam. Yeah, let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna start sewing. We're gonna start with the top of the head. I've already got uh, this side sewn. But all you're gonna do is sew from where it V's up to about the bend of the ear. And if you're using a brother sewing machine, you're gonna use stitch number three. It helps it uh, stretch and stay together. So you don't, so you're less likely to pop a seam. But you're going to just hold them or pin them as close together as you can. And on the pattern, there's this little cutout right at the very top. Of that cutout uh, is where you'll sew to where the ear starts to bend. I am not the very best at sewing. I just recently started learning the sewing machine. So please forgive me if I'm doing something wrong or it's just painful to watch. I'll go forward, then I'm gonna go backwards to uh, help create a knot so it helps to stay. Something kind of like that. And then that is the top all sewn together. Uh, and the material I'm using is just a jersey material from Walmart. It's got some nice stretch to it. Uh, you're, you can use uh, Lycra or just any, any stretchy material would work for this. But now we've got that. Now we're going to sew this back piece. And You can kind of see where the ear starts to fold forward. It would probably be better if you put some hash marks on there so you know where to line them up at. But you know, you kind of guesstimate it. And then just line it up and sew it the same stitch and do that on both sides. As you're sewing the back, you want to make sure that your seams are, or you're not seams, if your edges are lined up just best as you can. And then there's a nice steady slow pace is the way to go. And as you get closer to the edge, you want to take your bottom corners and hold them together. That's my little son, my youngest one. Can you say hi, Bubba? Hi, Bubba. <laughs> Okay, we've got the majority of the sewing done and it's kind of starting to take a little bit of shape. Getting there. Uh, what we're using for a face plate is this. It's a cheap adult Batman mask from Party City. It's like five or six bucks, not very much. But we got some modifications to it because we can't just put this under there and call it good. These ears are terrible. So first thing, we're going to take off this elastic. 
because you don't need it. Or I'll throw that away. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is cut off these crappy ears. Now, you can use a Dremel or this plastic is actually thin enough. You can use some scissors, which is what I'm going to do. And as you can tell, but that crease right there is where you want to cut it, and right there. So you just put a cut right there, and it will break because it is just too plastic. And then you'll cut it right there. Just like that. And if you wanted to, you could sand that down a little bit and make it a little bit more smooth. I really think it's that necessary. But we're going to go into the other side now. Okay, so we cut off the crappy plastic ears and we're replacing them with uh, foam ears. These are a little bit shorter. But with the ear pieces, you cut a V groove undercut or use a wood burner, apply your contact cement push it together then also whenever you cut them out you want to make sure that you cut your ears with inward angles all the way around just inward angles and if you happen to accidentally go a little deep on your undercut just apply some glue keep going with the undercut squeeze it together your seams don't have to be pretty because we're uncovered the fabric anyway. So it's pretty pretty forgiving. And once you've got that, you just apply your glue on these edges and on these edges where I've got them marked right here. And we'll glue them together. A pile of the heat to seal it so that way the spray adhesive will stick a little bit better and not all get absorbed into the foam. Okay, now the contact cement has dried to attack. Uh, the shorter side of the ear is the front. I like to go ahead and mark it anyway. But you start with the point, the top and the front. Make sure your seams are flush. And now when you go to do the back, you'll find that it doesn't go quite as easy. But this time you're gonna start with the inside seam. Push it down. I wanna bring this down to this mark. So I can actually get it. And now you're left with something like that. Well, all you gotta do is push the edges together. Just like that. And you've got a bad ear. And the reason why you don't want to kind of pull this down to this mark right here is it kind of pulls in the ear a little bit and gives it a little bit more of a curve inwards. And now we'll do the other side. One more fairly important step to do with this is you're going to want a piece of foam like this. Because when you put this in the fabric, remember how there's kind of a hole there the ear sticks up in, and the top of the cowl is going to be glued onto this fabric right, or onto this piece of foam right here. This helps it all hold it in place. I'm just going to contact cement that in place like that. All right, so I've got the fabric glued on the inside of the ears here, and I'm just using Loctite spray adhesive. And all we're going to do is we're going to do the outside of the ears, spray on the foam, uh, the fabric right here. The reason why I'm doing the ears right now is because it's uh, you want to get those lined up the best you can. I mean, it's fine if you have a little bit of hangover right there because you can only just cut it off with scissors later. Yeah, 
flip it over and do the other side. You want to make sure that you spray both surfaces. Get it pushed on there real good. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and glue this little part right here. And there might be an easier way of doing this. I mean, you could probably use hot glue or, well, on the hot glue, but you could probably use some soda glue or something like that for this little part. And I might wind up actually going over that later with super glue if this just so happens to not hold. I'm gonna do the other side. I'm holding it pretty close and putting it pretty thick because I don't want too much overspray. And if you notice, I left the the neck unsewn for now because you're going to want this much room all this room to work with to spray the actual face shell and get all of that detail in there so you got the ears on there we're going to just fold this back And you really want to make sure that you get all the grooves and, and the crevices. Because you really want that fabric to stick up in there and to get these features. Make sure on the bottom of the cowl, like where the uh, nose hangs over, that you've got plenty to fold under because we're going to be using uh, some hot glue to tuck it under and hold it in place. Just going to push the fabric into the eyes and into all the brow and the nose. I'm doing this pretty rough, I'm getting some wrinkles. I really don't mind the wrinkles that much, but if you're kind of a Perfectionist may want to take your time with it and really get it smooth. And I don't have the eyes marked on the pattern because it's going to differ for each person how they do it. I 
you've got something like that. And now we okay, now we're going to just apply some hot glue here on the inside and then uh, fold it over. Just like that. And then we'll do the same for the eyes. On the eyes, we're just going to put a little slit in there so there's that extra fabric to actually fold it up and glue it. Okay, once you've reached this point, uh, you're almost done. Only one more step. And you've got to ask yourself do you want to be able to pull this back like the hood, like in the comics, or just slip it on and off? If you do want to be able to pull it back, I would recommend either sewing some Velcro or a zipper here on the front neck part so that way you have that extra uh, area to pull it back. If you just want to slip it on and off, then we're just going to sew this neck piece. which is what I'm going to do today because I don't have a reason to pull it back. But yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys, and that's pretty much it. I mean, if you want to do more to it, you can. Uh, I actually had a hard time sewing this front piece. I was trying to reverse it so that way the, the flat seams on the outside, I just couldn't get it. So I just sewed it flat like that. Could look better, but I think it works. Uh, again, I use like a jersey stretch material from Walmart. Uh, a lycra spandex would probably work better. It just slips on like that. And yeah, that's all there is to it. And if you guys were to attach a zipper or Velcro right there, you'd be able to undo it and then Pull it back like a hood. I might trim this up a little bit, but yeah, that is it. And it is super comfortable. You can hear everything very well. Uh, if you want to, you could add some white mesh to the eyes, give it more of a comic feel, or just, you know, paint your eyes black like normal. But yeah, that is it. Uh, the templates for the fabric will be available in my Etsy shop. I'll put links to that down below. Uh, yeah, uh, for the ear pieces, I do have those templates available on uh, my shop as well. It does come with a fully armored cowl that comes with a neck piece and one of my other videos that I did an overview on. But that is it for this one. Uh, if you guys want to see what's coming up next, follow me on my social media, Bad Out of Hell Cosplay. You guys have a great one.